The basilic vein lies on the medial aspect of the arm and beyond the inferior border of the teres major it is called as the axillary vein which travels into the thorax and beyond the first rib it is called as the subclavian vein. The pec minor muscle divides the axillary vein into two parts. The part of the vein between the teres major and outer border of pec minor is the axillary part of the axillary vein and the part of the vein between uh, the pec minor and the outer border of the first rib is the infraclavicular part of the axillary vein. We also have the median brachial vein and the cephalic vein draining into the axillary vein. Can we call this procedure ultrasound guided subclavian cannulation? No. Going by landmark based technique, the needle punctures the subclavian vein. But when ultrasound probe is placed on the chest wall, clavicle hinders visualization of the subclavian vein. So, the part of the vein that is visualized and punctured is the infraclavicular part of the axillary vein. With these basic concepts, let us try to understand the sonoanatomy. With the patient lying in supine position, arm adducted by the side, high frequency linear probe placed beneath the coracoid process and probe marker cephalic. What is the ultrasound image that is generated? From superior to inferior, we have the skin, subcutaneous tissue, pectoralis major, pec minor, the axillary artery, cephalid, axillary vein, caudal. They lie on the serratus anterior muscle. As the ultrasound probe is moved medial, the cephalic vein drains into the axillary vein. And uh, as we move further medial, clavicle comes into picture. The axillary artery tries to disappear under the clavicle and the axillary vein here is larger because of cephalic vein drainage and they rest on the second rib. And uh, to the right of the rib, we can see the pleura. you how we are going to scan the infraclavicular axillary vein. So now for the demonstration purpose I am keeping my ultrasound machine by the side. So this is not the ideal ergonomics for cannulation. This is we are keeping it for the demonstration purpose. So what we are planning to do is first to look at what are all the surface landmarks. How we are doing the landmark guided subclavian vein cannulation and how it is changes for ultrasound guided infraclavicular vein cannulation. So if you come and see here, here I have marked the sternal notch and then the sternoclavicular joint and then I draw a reference line for the clavicle and I divide the clavicle into three halves. His clavicle is about 15 centimeters so it has been divided into three halves. This is the medial third, middle third and the lateral third. 